Have you had the feeling that you should have started something earlier, that you're behind and so many other people are just way ahead of you? It might be a good thing that you're behind. Check this out. Yo, 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 what up? My name is Mates. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about range. This feeling that you're behind others, that you should have started earlier, you don't have any more time to do great things. I tell you, you're wrong. I used to have the same feelings and used to have the same patterns of thinking, but I stumbled upon a book called Range by David Epstein and this is how I visualize it, the power of range. If you only do one thing and you just hyper specialize you only have the information that you have on the way and of course this is extreme but you get the point and if you have more range you have all these different experiences and knowledges all of a sudden you're in a new in a new problem zone you have a new job something something you just realized you want to do and you've kind of jumped in the deep end right away you get this impossible question that nobody knows the answer for it might just be that your previous experience suddenly it's just clear for you of course it should be like this that's why i think it's really good to not know exactly what you want to do and you just try out different things basically just live like you want it and how what feels the best i would love to have some comments on this one we live in a world where we think that the more specialized you are in something the smarter you are but that's not the case at all. A lot of studies have shown that if you get too specialized and you just work in a single domain and just try to kind of dig deeper in that one spot, you usually get very confident. You also start doing things by pattern. You do the things as you used to doing, because that's how people work. You're, you have a pattern recognition system and if something's familiar, you automatically think that, okay, it worked last time, so we just do it like this. And it might work, of course, but if something works, it doesn't mean that it's the best way you can do it. Right? I feel that our schooling system and the way our business, like you get promoted by being very good at something. Yeah, of course, we need, we need people who, who do the work and, and try to kind of push through that way. But often it's the people who have experiences from a lot of different genres and experiences in life that usually solve these. It's called wicked problems. For me, this was a really good thing. I, I felt that I have some people who are like-minded like me and that I'm not left behind. I, I haven't done anything like wasted time. Like even, I think my longest job has been like three years and then I just change and do something else. For a long time I felt that it's been a mistake and it's been like wasted time and, and stuff like that but now I realize that it's 
it's just a good thing and I'm gonna keep doing that and just try to do something that I enjoy because then I have motivation to do it as good as possible and probably someday we'll do something great or you know what I mean something meaningful so amazing like real world examples is one of the most famous painter Vincent van Gogh he started painting with his unique style like three or four years before he died and he's like he invented a new kind of style of painting a few hundred years ago something like I don't, I'm not sure about the time but when he lived everything was pretty strict in in paintings and everything was kind of classical so he just wandered around and did all kind of stuff until he just decided to do what he felt best to him and history speaks for itself so and this phenomenon is also seen in musicians athletes a lot of the top athletes didn't start out with their with their like top sport in the beginning they did a lot of different sports and they tried out what's best for their fitness and what's best for their interests and then they also got the knowledge from the other sports and that's one reason why the best are the best this thing clearly shows you that the 10,000 hour rule for something that's not true because if you did 10,000 hours of something else and then just totally switch to another thing it's not like you have to start from zero because life experience is where it comes in and if you have a lot of different experience you're gonna learn a lot faster and you have these concepts already in your head what I want to give with this video is just some hope for everybody who's ever felt like they're behind or that that they should have done something differently I think you should just be thankful for what you did and be proud that you did it that way because you never know like if you worked at McDonald's or some like shitty job you learn something there also and that's always a good thing what I suggest is keep going do what feels right and keep going win or learn and if you win you really don't learn so it's actually better to lose than win I hope you got something out of this video and I hope you like it if you really got something out of it if you have some ideas or something to say please comment I know this got a little bit maybe out of the filmmaking stuff but I felt that this is a very important thing because your past is only your knowledge and your future is what you decide so I see you in the future Thank you.